Kind of Funny Live 2 is happening May 28th and 29th. It's a two-day event. The first day is going to be a completely ridiculous stage show. What we have planned this year completely blows last year out of the water. And I don't even know how that's possible because we were really stupid last year. And this year's somehow even stupider. Day 2, it's going to be full day of meet and greets. We're hanging out with, with all of us. A bunch of Rooster Teeth people are there. Funhouse people are there. Achievement Hunter. It's going to be a grand old time. There's going to be some games to play. There's going to be signings. It's gonna just, it's exciting. It's a really fun time. There's going to be exclusive merch. Oh, yeah. There's definitely going to be exclusive merch. Go to kindoffunny.com slash tickets to get your tickets today. There's a couple VIP tickets still available, so make sure if you want one of those, you act fast. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Game Over Greggy Show. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the producer slash seducer, Nick Scarpino. Hi. Ballpark, how many Heather Gray shirts are in your closet? Five. <laughs> really? At least. Uh, yeah, I agree, at least. It depends. I have some charcoal gray shirts that count oh, as Heather. Fuck you. <laughs> they're not traditional Heathering. <laughs> yeah, my wife's, it's kind of an inside joke to my wife because she likes it as well. So a half of our closet is Heather Gray, but we have to separate them. Sure. Otherwise, I might mix one up and wear her shirts. Yeah. And she's significantly smaller than me it would be but it would look good because you have the ice cream scoops i'm always talking about there they are oh, oh look at them go shit. wow there it is, the over there the pure one tim gettys some rocky road i like rocky road oh wow okay yeah. right. okay i'll take that i was yeah. thinking pralines and cream rounding yeah. out the group of course the pride of long island colin moriarty it's good to be here today uh before we go i'm gonna make someone's day uh -oh. as i often do uh oh <clears throat> Uh, someone reached out to our Facebook group mm -hmm. and I go through those messages and I usually just read them and then don't respond But <laughs> what I did this time was uh, No, I respond a lot of people say compliment, you know, complimentary things I always respond to those but some people are just like asking, you know, I've got time for everything. No, but one young woman uh, Named Sarah Carpenter Wrote us a message and she said she had a boyfriend who's turning 21 years old. His name is Prince Barutsky now, now, he's realize, a real prince. now this was the thing I was like there's some joke here because right. this man's name is certainly not Prince Barutsky. Mm -hmm. So I went to her Facebook page and then I went to pictures of her. She had a picture of, of her with a, a, a man. Mm -hmm. I click on it. Tagged Prince Barutsky. That was good enough for me. So happy 21st birthday, Prince Barutsky from your girlfriend, Sarah Carpenter. Well, Do you think you she's go. related to John Carpenter? No, probably not. The band, the Carpenters. No, definitely. Not. My boss, think, the Jewish Carpenter. Uh, everyone's related to him in some way. Do you think that he's related to Prince at all? The uh, musician. Well, that, that, was, that was really the time. That was really the timely name. But this, of course, is not the surname. So, uh, nonetheless, I don't always do this. A lot of people making a lot of requests. A lot of outlandish. You requests. never do this. A lot of outlandish requests. This is the first time I ever remember you actually doing this. But for Prince Barutsky, <laughs> it's a historic day from Sarah Carpenter. Colin descending happy from 21st his birthday. ivory tower <laughs> to grace the people with his presence and wish them a happy birthday. I like birthday. your Olmec shirt, by the way, Colin. Thanks. I don't know what the hell is it. What is this? What Taxi is this shirt? It's Taxi Oh, is it? Yeah. Get no. your shit together. You, like, you got a Olmec's Vita for wife. a reason. I do. Play it. Mm. Play went, it, son. I visited the uh, Axiom Verge booth. It was who was it? What were the two games there? Or three games there? Chasm was there. Chasm as well. and Axiom Verge. And we said we said what's up to Tom. And uh, I noticed they had some other cool shirts. And I don't. I mean, I've been. I'm kind of the OG supporter. But these True. two guys, there was three shirts. I already own one of them, and these guys bought the other two. Are you, you being know, serious? As you know, we have. Yeah, I'm not being serious. Okay. But as you know, we have a, we have a problem here with a shirt redundancy issue. Is that Tim, Kevin, and I all own the exact like five shirts? So not true. Well, Kevin has a producer producer shirt, don't yeah, you? So do I. You two have the aerobic shirt. I have three other shirts that you have. So we all have to just kind of time it. It's, it's the more filthy casual. That's it's when we get us. to events where we have to text each right. other and ask what's everybody wearing. Right. So I just I wanted to. And then it's a 50 50 if Kevin's just going to wear that shirt to annoy you. Right. Well, it's, he doesn't see texts. His phone doesn't work the way it's also true. Human His Android phone. phone does not work the way it's well, supposed very to. True. If you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Game Over Greggy Show. Each and every week, four, sometimes five best friends gather on this table. Each bring a random topic of discussion for your amusement. I want to slap a little slower today. Oh, you're having a little slow slap. Slow slap. Look, sometimes you got to slow slap it so you can slow slide it in. Watch. What the fuck, Nick? Oh, so that was. That's what if it you was. like that, that's head over to patreon.com slash kind of funny where you can get each and every show early by tossing us a couple bucks along with exclusive perks and goodies. Oh yeah, the goodies. If you don't want to toss us any bucks, you can head to youtube.com slash kind of funny. We're posting the entire show topic by topic, day by day, until it's one big video and MP3 released the following Friday. Fear amusement. You used to say that. Then you stopped saying it. We don't care if people are amused anymore. Colin took a I'm big not sure I ever cared. 
I but know here's, she didn't care. But here's the thing about it. They nonetheless are. <laughs> it's true. You it's know? true. We all have our role to play in this stage play of life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Kevin, do me a huge favor. Can you do it for me? Go get me a piece of paper and a, or you could rip one out of your book and a pen. You're just going to give him mail. You're just going to give him I'm mail. I'm doing something a little different uh -oh. moving forward. Okay. Uh -oh. Greg queued up Premiere for me today. I did. It's, you guys are treating this like it's rocket science. It's really not that Never have. Never have done that. Now, always I'm told already, you it's very already, easy. I always already, begged you for help. I'm already <laughs> doing left, right, up and down kind of things on there. I'm fucking, yeah. I'm cutting fucking they videos say that, that you wouldn't well, believe. You're and by that I mean stage. I'm literally just using the razor blade tool and cutting <laughs> things. I'm cutting and videos I, you wouldn't believe. <laughs> yeah. no, I like Can it. you hand me a pen, Kevin? I need it back. He stole that from take me. The, take the, can, the I just get a, can I just get a marker or something? Just uh, anything, pen. any writing implement will do. He's that one back. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? It's a circus today. <laughs> <laughs> I love you like, the circus. You like those goaltending reflexes? That was amazing. Now, what I want to do moving forward, because I went on Colin and Greg Live today that mm -hmm. Nick hosted with me. Yeah. Just give and him back his toy. This is going to go all show. That's fine. It's right there. Go get it. Uh, is I cut out two funny clips from the show today. Mm hmm. One show, one clip about the whole Pokemon thing with the owl, yeah. which is pretty funny. That's awesome. And then the you second job, clip man. was telling Kevin he can't smoke cigarettes. Yeah, because which you shouldn't, Kevin. Now, that would have been way easier for me. I had to go into You're my mind's 21. eye, my mind's eye's memory. Mm -hmm. So my mind's, my eye's mind's eye memory, <laughs> <laughs> and figure out where those were. And now I'm just going to write down timestamps mm. when something that humors me happens. Okay. I like that. And then I can just go into the raw clip and use the razor blade tool yes. and the plus and minus buttons and some other things that I do. Mm -hmm. And then I hit the export button and voila, I just have a video. Yeah. There's no bumpers on it. There's no name mm -mm. things on it. No lower thirds. Yet. No chirons. Yet. Maybe ever. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you right now. You're taking kind of fun into another idea. future. I love this idea. I love. What is I, this I would just ask that we put some notification to the audience of what the show is and when they might be able to see the full version of no. it. No, 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 no context. Don't need that. Context. Those are my rules. He's going to post this on a Facebook. He's making up. No, right. context. he already made, made up the name. It's, it's like Prince Bohatton. <laughs> <laughs> he's made right. the elaborate <laughs> scheme. Sarah Carpenter. <laughs> okay. You yeah. Use this one? No, definitely we already not. have the paper. We're already set to go. Thank you, Kevin. Though. Colin, I love that you're everything you do is now from now on with this editing is going to be like, like when Radiohead drops an album. You don't know when it's going to come. Mm -hmm. You don't know what it is. You don't know how much it is. <laughs> you pay your own. It doesn't matter. It's just there one day. You, I, the dog literally thinks his toy is in the painting. Can that, you turn around, Tim, and give it to him? <laughs> it's, the, it's the gingerbread man. The, the, the painting is going to fall on his head and kill him. He's like Zyger. Just give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Who <is> it? Dad? <laughs> Nick, yes. What's your topic? So we did this uh, for Metal Gear, if you'll recall, and I, there already is, of course, a movie in the works from most likely a reputable studio, probably Sony, if I had to guess. Not really sure. I didn't really bother to look it up. But because I have you gentlemen here today, and because I'm such a huge fan, as you know, of the Uncharted series, mm. I thought we would go through and cast the Uncharted movie for them, oh, so they don't have to God worry about damn. this anymore. This is going to be magical, ladies so, and gentlemen. I'm excited about this. I'm going to get out the old My immediate thought, what, are we making the Uncharted 1, 2, or 3, That's or 4 movie? That's oh, the question. We're, we're, making, we're, making a, we're making a fresh movie, and what we're going to need here... Let, All right, we'll need... Now, Colin, we'll these need are your notes for clipping things out. We'll need can't well, th there's four sides to this piece of paper. Because I folded it in, in, in But there's indeed. so many notes you're going to take. So many time codes. No. Two or, square. Two or three a show at the no. most. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's not get carried away. We're not that funny. All right. Okay. We're kind of funny. Uh, so we're going to need Drake. Well, hold on. We have to, I think we have to decide again where we're starting or what we're doing. What is the scope of the movie? I mean, it's obviously it's gotta be a trilogy. The beginning. We're it's making, a, we're making trilogy. the entire... We're making the trilogy or the quadrology? We're making a movie trilogy. That doesn't necessarily mean it's based on Uncharted 1, 2, and 3. It's just a trilogy of... Uncharted all, movies. All I'm saying is that there's there's a few characters you have very basic. You're gonna need them, yeah, right? Them so them you need Drake. Yeah. You need Elena. You need Sully. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I would say you also probably need Chloe. Yeah. And I would say you. I would say you even need Cutter. Yeah. I don't now, know if you need Cutter. I want Cutter. Cutter in there. I want Cutter for sure, but I don't know if you need him. So and then what we have to. So that's really the core cast. Now you might want to. I don't want Sam in there. Hold on. It's just awesome to see Nick get Elena. No, no. Hold on. He couldn't spell Elena, and then Doesn't he just matter. stopped at L. <laughs> e -L. Is it Elena or Elena? <laughs> Elena. E -L there you go. You nailed it. You nailed it. I thought it was Elaine. How do you spell Elaine? E-L-A-I-N-E. <sighs> mm, almost had that. Okay, Drake, <laughs> Elena, <laughs> Sully, Chloe, Chloe Cutter. That's good enough. Why, you're not, no one's live streaming this. Yeah. Chloe. How do you spell Chloe, Nick? 
C H L O. Sully use the Adamese too. Fucking good. cunt. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Why don't you go eat your it's own? It's a circus today. <laughs> and and cutter. Cutter. Okay. Uh, and then we need to we need to identify the villain. And that's the big problem. Oh, we, we're, are we, but no. we're doing a whole trilogy. We're doing the trilogy trilogy. Because if we're doing the trilogy, then it's simple. Then we yeah we're I say. We we fold a lot of the elements of one into the story, and it's Lavar Lazarovich, Marlowe, and now a new guy, Nadine and Rafe. Rafe. Thank you. I can't remember his name for a second. Okay, Liz so Lazar Marlowe Lazarovich. What about uh, what's Marlowe's boy's name? Oh, Talbot. Talbot. Oh Lord, do we need him? I say we replace him with Rafe. All right, so we yeah, that's oh right. okay. So okay. Lazarovich, Marlowe, and Rafe, and I would I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say get rid of. Uh. What's her nuts? Nadine. Nadine. You don't like Nadine? Nadine doesn't I'll, serve a purpose. I Nadine. think she does. That's covered in our spoiler cast in the review, but I'll allow it. I will allow you to rid the world of Nadine. I, I want Sam, though. Sam doesn't need to be there for the first movie, but I do. Cameo. I, I know. I think Sam should be a character from two on. I think that we should get more Sam, oh, which then okay. makes him that makes sense. Yeah, more yeah, yeah, yeah. of a character. Okay. Okay. okay, okay I feel okay. like he deserves it. Sam. Now, as usual, I'm Young just going to point out with what we're doing so far. <laughs> Not a lot of diversity in the cast. How do we get Steve Harvey in this you're picture? Right, yes, you're right, you're young right. Drake. So, I'm going to play the part. I'm going to play the part of the studio exec. Okay. Thank you, as always. We need we need diversity, and the diversity cannot be the bad guy. Okay. Okay. All right. Wait. So these are, make sure you have all those names. Those are all the names okay. you need. Okay. I have. Okay. I have all of these people. <laughs> I spelled Lazarevich. Doesn't Jenna. matter. Don't, Horrible. Don't matter. Way. Doesn't matter. Not even. It's like, Add it, Sam and Young Drake. Okay. There. Sam and Young Drake. Okay. Young Drake. I like have home young Drake. Why do I have Raf? Oh, Rafi. I have that. Okay. Rafi. Sam. Who are these? Marlo, Lazarovich, and, and Rafe, Rafe are, are bad guys. Are bad guys. Okay. Sam and Young Drake. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Cool. Those are the good guys, right? Sully, Chloe, Cutter, Sam, Young Drake. These are quasi good, might be bad care. We don't know yet. Yeah. Sure. Sure, I, so sure, I sure. like the idea of in the first movie, the majority of these characters are at least introduced, at least as an idea that they're there. I don't want none of this fucking Spider Man 3. Batman v Superman garbage where there's too much shit going on sure. at once, but I want. Well, then I think you need to start. I think by the middle of the second movie, everybody has to be introduced. But yeah, but yeah, but I think that there should at least be cameos and hints. There should be like references to. What's, what's your What's your hint for Chloe? A photo in his wallet? Huh? Nah, nah, nah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe like a phone call, maybe some nice sexy voicemail or something. Jesus. Maybe a little text message. Okay. Maybe a picture message. Now, okay. Now, well, can I ask this, is, this question? No. Swim fan. What ethnicity is Chloe? Can she be any ethnicity? Does Chloe, her ethnicity any matter? of these people can be any ethnicity? I okay. guess. I mean, well, I mean, I'm just saying this goes back to the well. This goes back to the, the thing we were talking about with um, what kind of agency we have over the the, the characters. I mean, I'm not. I, I don't think it's a bad thing to say. Like these characters all exist. Sure. So like, I'm not so sure that you could mess around with that too much unless you're rebooting Uncharted. Super In which case, made Jimmy Olsen black. Nobody cared. Well, all I'm saying is that like it, it's it, you know hasn't been black since we have a vision of, of who these characters are. And I was gonna say Chloe to me. I'm not sure what Chloe is. She's either like Australian. No, I think Chloe's like Filipino or something. Or oh, like, okay, we could do that. But she has that accent. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, she yeah, might yeah. be from the south. But I mean, she, I think she's like or like Latin uh, in some sort, some way. I think it's the Middle Eastern. No, just let him go. Type. <laughs> Something going on there. Mm. I'm sure there's an answer. She's PS3 graphics level ambiguous. Because I mean, out of all of them, <laughs> Jesus Christ. So okay, okay, it depends. Are we talking about cutscene or are we talking about in-game or Jesus Christ? He's I don't that. know. Nick searches. Did you see that? No, 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 no. Nick's like, I need to find an image of Chloe from Uncharted. He puts into Google Chloe Filipino. <laughs> Because you guys were saying she might be Filipino, but Chloe Filipino, and then I realized I can't listen to you guys in time at the same time. Open, open up her Wikipedia here. Tell me a little bit about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, there's, she's, she's, she Let's is, see this bad character. It's a fictional character in the Uncharted in series introduced yeah. in 2009. Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Fraser were designed to provoke. Let's look at the character design. No appearances. Maybe not Filipino. Really that's background. not true. What, what, in the game, she maybe has, you're right. Maybe I think she's it's like Middle Persian. Eastern. I think it's like, mm. she yeah. looks to me like she could be Persian to some degree. She's definitely, let's call it ethnic. Is that is that but, is that safe to assume, Kevin? <laughs> now, but everyone, so I'm reaching out to an unchar uncharted expert. Everyone okay. else is actually white, except well, Lazarvich is white too. He's just Russian or Eastern European in some way. Mm -hmm. But everyone else is Western. Do we want to play around with the races and even to. the genders? We have to. I'm fine with that. Well, you gave Nadine the boot. So that's true because she has literally no purpose in the story. <laughs> She's really good in the story. I like her a lot. Uh. Sully could easily be Steve Harvey. 
And I, it doesn't have to just be Steve Harvey. I'm just a big Steve Harvey See, fan. I was going to go. If you want, I like the continuity that Steve Harvey is in everything we do. Yeah. The Steve Harvey cinematic universe. I mean, you know, we're going to put sure. Steve Harvey down for this. For as, oh, as, God, as Sullivan? Oh, fuck, he can't be the bad guy. I feel like he'd be a Dilt Lazarevich, but I mean. He could, no, he, he's look, too nice. He's too he nice. Be a bad but imagine guy. with the cigar, because he always smokes cigars, and he's just like, oh, goddamn Dorado. <laughs> And he doesn't yeah, have a gravel we get, to it. We could have more fun with Sully, though. I feel like Sully deserves... Sully's one of those, like, he deserves greatness. Not to say no. that Steve Harvey ain't greatness. Steve Harvey could be a bad guy, but we have to have another ethnic person on the other side to kind of balance him. Mm. So if you wanted two people in there that were ethnic, I would say... Are we allowed to say ethnic like this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I think I'm that's saying, a shame. That's a, that's You're a, Peruvian. Is that I'm okay? We, do, we want to we make need sure... A, we need a minority to weigh in. <laughs> From my golden minor- tower. We need a minority report. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's okay, fine. Good. Yeah, I think it's okay, right? As I an think we can it with Cotter's change implications. I'm just making sure it's okay. I think we can change Cutter. We're doing it. Cutter's character. I think he could be any race. Okay, that's I don't not bad. That that's not bad anything. Either. I want what Cutter about to be the black Asian. Jimmy Olsen from. <laughs> yeah. I okay. mean, Cutter ooh, looks ooh, exactly ooh. like Jason Statham, though. Now look at Lazarus, bitch. How the hell do just you g- just put uncharted it? and then start trying to spell it and it'll come up. <laughs> Who? What there was it the is. It's like literally right. The first there. What's the other dude? Uh, in two? Look at the images. Didn't even change. But all Chloe's those. dude. That's amazing. Oh, so that's Drake, uh, Chloe, Flynn. and yeah. I think he's key too. He's a he's side character. No, but he's a side character. Flynn? But he's like a little flip floppy going on. It's pretty quick that he flip flops, but he does. Yeah. So we. St- what does that count? Well, I feel by like that, by that, then we need Eddie Raja on here. No, <laughs> Eddie, Raja. Eddie Raja, and we need Navarro. I don't okay. know. And this is, give me that. And I, want, and I also want that old man from Uncharted One we never remember the name of, who serves some purpose, but we don't the remember what. He this, shot mm, Sully. Mm. <laughs> this casting session is getting out of control. I'm going to rein it back in. Okay. We're go you. back to the leads. Okay. So our leads are Sully, Elena, and Drake. Right. For Sully, could be white. I see him as black for some reason. Steve Harvey. I want it. Steve no. Harvey's done. It could be Steve Harvey, but I see him more as Samuel L. Jackson. That's god awesome. Is it? Yeah, I was gonna say god I mean, awful. Naturally, Samuel Jackson's amazing, and he but can like, totally, totally do that. He is amazing. I love Samuel. As you know, my friend yeah. from Comic Con talked to him twice. Uh-huh. My problem with it is just that he's too intimidating. Sully is like, I mean, look, look, think about Uncharted Four, right? Like Sully isn't intimidating. Like okay. the glass gets slapped yeah, away think, from him. Imagine he's like, SLJ saying, "Oh, goddamn, we should Dorado. smoke cigars." Tonight. God, I'm into that. Yeah, I'm sold. What about Sam- no Burt Reynolds? That's good too. <laughs> so you said happy go lucky. There's nothing better than smoking That's the bandit. That's true. That's true. He was in the fucking cannonball run for Christ's sake. What is Burt Reynolds? 35 like years anymore. ago, he was in the He's cannonball old. run. He's old. Sully has a strength. He's the kind of. He can still move. I feel probably. like Sully would be a dope ass old Robert Downey Jr. Like, we got to give it a lot of time. But Robert mm. Downey Jr. has that kind of like, he's the cool old guy. Yeah, we got to get the movie done. Steve Guys, like I, think, I, think, cool sure. I think Steve Harvey, I'm not even being facetious. All right. Should we want a black man to play Sullivan? I feel like Steve Harvey makes more sense than whatever we cast him in in Metal Gear Solid. I don't even remember. Darpa Chief. Darpa Darpa Chief. Chief. That makes more sense. Darpa Chief makes more sense. (laughs) (laughs) I was thinking we cast him as like Cyborg Ninja or something like that. Because we're a bunch of idiots. All right. Let's move on to Elena. Now again, here's another. Emily Rose can play Elena. Right? Emily Rose could play Elena. We'll put her down. Is this the cop out? Oh, ex- exactly. She's a real actress, though. Like, she is a real actress. Great in Haven. You know I love her. And Jericho as well. But the problem is, what are we trying? I think a lot of it comes down to Drake, too. Are we trying to future-proof for 10 years? And if so, are we saying, fuck everybody, we're making our movie? Because then are we putting Nolan is on? No, his? see, here's my thing. I say we put a hard role that the voice actors can't be it, or else that's the obvious answer. But what, I think that that's not... That Hollywood ain't doing that shit. They just ain't doing it. But what I'm, what, the only reason I went to Emily Rose's name is because well, it's no disrespect to Nolan North or these other guys. Emily Rose is yeah. a real I actress that it. does real shows and movies. That. She, that later did this. Like, this isn't her, what she does, really. As opposed to Nolan North is a voice actor in mocap. Well, yeah, artist. I remember she came out of acting school. This was her, like, first gig. And then she got her TV show go. and everything else. I'm with you. My main my main thing is, like, and I love Emily. This isn't a knock against Emily. What are Do we have to worry about the Hollywood ageism stuff? Are we worried at all about that? In ten years, is she gonna st- like well, how, like, how? What are I'm we gonna, casting Elena's I'm agents? Gonna, I'm not even gonna let you answer that question. We need to look, worry about putting a huge lead in this that can sell the movie, like yeah. Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> always ScarJo. It's always ScarJo. If you're putting Scarlett the Johansson, biggest. then Emily Rose should be on the table. Yeah. In terms of aging, I'm just saying this is a huge movie franchise. We're gonna we're producing this kind of funny co-production with whoever the fuck else owns the rights. So I assume at this point, PlayStation is it PlayStation. They, mean, they own the rights yeah. on Charlie. So I assume Sony is gonna produce it. Uh, the movie theater there or the Sony doesn't matter studios um they're gonna want a big name for drake they're gonna want a big name for elena because yeah. they're gonna want a trilogy they're gonna sign these people to like five-year deals mm-hmm. or five movie deals 
We got to have a big name. Scarlett Johansson, first person that comes to mind. Why? Because I watched Lucy last night. Was it a good movie? It was interesting. Stuff happened during it. It was a movie that happened. She's great in it. Yeah. I'm going to put ScarJo here. I'm going to say, and this is just based off of previous success stories that mm -hmm. I've seen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For oh. Chloe and Elena, I want Mila Kunis and Kristen Bell. Because mm. I feel like they'd they have that nice dynamic together, and they both kind of Mila Kunis was on my list here too. Did that shit? You want Kristen Bell as Elena? Yeah, I think M Mila Kunis could pull off a good Elena. Just putting See, that I out there as well. They, I don't Ooh, think I don't these know. girls are getting the movies made though, guys. I'm thinking more along Kristen the lines Bell's, of like Kristen Bell got Veronica Mars two made single handedly. How about this? 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 Elena Olivia Wilde. Mm. Okay. Okay. Just get her on the list. Just get her on the list. Now you're cooking with Elena. Uh, now with here's the thing: the blonde factor is an important factor with Elena. But yeah, but like you can lighten anybody's hair these I days. I get that, but I mean, like, does it bleach? work? I'm gonna know? say no. I don't like it. For, I, I, Larder, watched the, I love Ali Larder. Uh, yeah, she, I used to have such a crush. She could be a did. great um, Chloe. I know I'm messing with the hair colors. I'm so sorry. I mean, it's a big deal. That's the most important thing. You don't need to worry about that. You don't need to worry because I watched the 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 Fantastic Four movie, and the one thing that bothered me at that movie, otherwise it was phenomenal. Um, no, uh, no, not Jessica Biel. Uh, <laughs> Jessica Alba. I was making Kate, a callback to the really bad, or the other bad Fantastic Four. Kate Mara's hair gets progressively more blonde as the movie goes. It's part and of it's, it's going invisible, distracting after a while. Oh, that's a perfect example, though. Yeah, Jessica Alba in the Fantastic Four was, movies. No, no, but I'm that saying was garbage. Like, don't bleach it. Just we lighten it up. And, and again, it doesn't need to be like it, we don't need them to look exactly the same. I know, but Elena's we're making hair. Sullivan into a black man. <laughs> we can mess around with the hair color a little bit. No, no it's the Irish black change. man. He's fine. I'm going to throw this on the table, not for any particular role, but she's hot right now. Elizabeth Olsen. Could she overused. be Elena? Yeah, she's overused, and I don't I don't think there's any good. I don't know who any of these people are. I don't watch her. How dare you? How dare you? I don't pay enough attention. Maybe that's what it is. All right. So, so far then for my for that role, I would say Scar Joe is my front runner. Ugh, no way. Olivia Wilde. I love Olivia Wilde. Doesn't have the star power of Scar Joe right now. I remember Scar Joe is going to be in really big movies for Put the next Scar Joe in as Catherine Marlowe. <laughs> it turns out she's she found I mean, the blue sap. She's immortal. That's what Lazarevich is after. Meryl Streep is Marlowe. Yeah, I was gonna say we can we can nail that character. Yeah, I know. We do. Yeah, Meryl Streep would be lots of Marlo. old women and a lot Hollywood. of old people. A lot mm, of old people. That's true. In this world, that just won't die. I'm sticking with Kristen Bell. I like it. Kristen I Bell. Think I think she fits the role. She's that like that nice kind of just cool motherfucker. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean, Colin? <laughs> yeah, I know. You know, I know what you mean. I'm just Please thinking of random that. names <laughs> that have no place in this movie. <laughs> All right. I'm going to say for Marlo, just judging solely based on the picture, there's two actresses that come to mind. Holly Hunter. Ooh. Or Helen Mirren. Yeah, Helen awesome. Mirren is what I thought, but that's kind of a cop out. Here's too. one plays, I want to float she's out She's fucking there. awesome. Here's Helen is never a cop out. There's one I'll float out. Yeah, it's a different direction for the character. Yeah, Selma Hayek. Mm. I mean, she's getting she's up there. older. It's, I, I don't think it needs to be that you are an old lady. No. I think you know what I mean. Like no, we're no. really playing with this now. Like the, the, yeah. we're taking I a lot like of creative Selma license. Hayek. Did you see like how well it. playing with the Power Rangers is going over? How how well playing with Ghostbusters is going over? Fucking people love it when you take something they know and love and you just tweak it a little bit. Yeah, just a little, <laughs> just a little. Steve Harvey is Sully. Just take it and give up. Like take it, take it, and take their expectation and give them the exact opposite of right. what they expect. Yeah, they love it. Yeah, they love it. That's Hollywood right there. Why did I? I spelled Selma Hayek's wrong. Just I'm why do so you care wrong. if you can read it? Because it's fine. you're making fun of me. Type in I Selma Hayek Filipino. Your squint. <laughs> uh, you know how I spell Filipino every single time with a H. Oh, with the PH. Every single time. No. That makes sense. I mean, it's Philippines is spelled with PH. It's annoying. It's annoying. Um, no, well, he was... Uh, who are you trying to put in for Elena? You're trying to put in... Uh, Evan Strahovski. And he just put Evan <laughs> Strahovski. <I just, laughs> yeah. And then totally he was like, wrong. oh, I'm not spelling her last name correctly. So the, the Filipino I'm thing... To, to, to be fair, Nick, the, Fil the Filipino thing gets really deeply confusing. Because it's the Philippines with a P, Filipino with an F is the person, and then the language is, is what, Tagalog? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like, all right, there's got to be some sort of rule here. Where you're Filipino mm -hmm. with a P from mm -hmm. the Philippines and you speak Filipino, they, right? They, they spell it with an F, I believe. No, they. They. What do you no, mean by you they? Mean they what do you the mean Philippines by that? With an F? They, you're saying they spell yeah. the Philippines with an F? Yeah, we put the PH on there because we had to be fancy. Well, it's probably named fancy after someone. How do you feel about this? 
Oh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead? I love yeah. her. Get her I in this pretty chat. This is too confusing. Mary, Mary Elizabeth Winstead. I understand it's an Archipelago. Oh, I just want her in. A lot of people. I don't, she strikes me again as more of an Elena. I want her in everything. She would be a She'd perfect be great Elena. Elena. Okay, there. We all agree that she's a well, perfect I mean, Elena. Here's the thing. Is she don't fucking enough. bring up the hair. Who, Jesus. who are you talking about? Mary Elizabeth Winston, Winstead. She's I great. From Clover Field Lane. She was great. Okay, yeah, fine. That's fine. We're getting too hung up on this. This topic's going to take eight years. She'd be good. Did you expect it not to? It doesn't matter how you spell it. I, I, what about Drake? We we really should be talking about Drake. We usually double. I, I like when we double back to like right. who's gonna who's gonna cement this picture. All right. So wait, who do we have? Who do we have firm right now? Do we have anyone firm? We have Steve Harvey as Sully firm. All right. That, firm. I like. That. I think, that's a, I think that nails it. If he for some ever, whatever reason says no, we're gonna approach uh, Samuel L. Jackson or Burt Reynolds. Okay. I also had Bruce Willis <laughs> on this list. Just cause. Just cause. He could be Lazarevich if you wanted, but he's oh, hard to work with. He no, hard he, to work with. I like that though. Bruce Willis is Lazarevich is a that's a must. Okay. Okay. Uh, also, Jason Statham would be good because he looks all like all yeah, these bald Statham, guys. I was Where are say, the bad guys, bald white dudes. Statham could be Cutter though too. It's a very, it's a very insightful commentary on our current culture from Naughty Dog. But it's can true. Bruce Willis do the the the, the accent? No. Does he need it though necessarily? His name is Lazarevich. Tony in Kukoc. Game, Tony Kukoc's last name was Kukoc, and he spoke fluent English perfectly. You had no idea this guy was just not from Chicago. That's true. I just want to reiterate, his name is Lazarevich. And he's Russian. Well, I'm I'm always fine casting someone who actually is of that uh, background. So, what about the dude, the 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 only Russian guy I know, the crazy Russian dude from Armageddon? He he's not bald, but he could do it. Oh, the yeah. guy's like, um, I don't even know that guy's parts, name. Russian parts, oh, all made oh. in China. He's also the bad Russian guy from Bad Boys and the bad Russian guy from any other movie that needs a bad Russian isn't guy. Isn't he in? He's in the Big Lebowski too. Yes. And isn't he also we the guy? You? We fuck you. He's, he's like, in. He's in, a, he's in. He's in. He's in Until Dawn, right? Am I thinking about the same guy, right? Yes, the he therapist is. He is. He's Dawn. the therapist in Until Dawn. Great, great actor. None of us know his name. Mm. Oh, he's a character actor. Yeah, he like that, that Stephen Toblerone guy. I'm gonna. I'll. I'll, I'll search this. Arm. It's a joke for you, know. No, we don't. I mean, what you're getting him to be Lazarevich? No, I'm just saying he's out there. We need him. Okay, sure. He- <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hold on. So we've got your. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay, you're I'm right. just putting down our, uh, you know, the people. Okay, okay. Lazarevich, oh. Bruce Willis. Are we locked on Bruce Willis for Lazarevich? No, no, he, he's not going to be able to do the accent. Why not? And he's he hard could. to work with. We're going to put him as two. Okay. Who well, are you putting as number one then? Tully Savas. <laughs> I don't know who's another bother. Like again, here? they don't need you. Saw again with Lex Luthor and see, Kevin Spacey how character. well it goes when you just take somebody and shave their head and say they're the character. I don't know anything about the character though. Is he the main bad guy? Guess what? That's he's the main he bad guy. Know. He really wants some blue sap and he shoots people. There you go. He wears a shotgun and body armor. And I don't he's like even a think... big bulky dude. Mm. John Cena. No, I was thinking The Rock. Yes. Vin Diesel. Yeah, Vin, Vin Diesel's Diesel. too obvious. Vin Diesel's. Though. More obvious than The Rock, who's in every goddamn movie ever. Hey, now. you know what? Everybody likes The I'm Rock. I'm not complaining. Yeah, okay. I like He's Vin up the jungle. Uh, no, I like movie. Vin D. I like Vin D too. I think Vin Diesel's good for Lazarevich, and he could definitely do the accent. Right, so, well, he could do something. <laughs> not the best at accents, Vin Diesel, unless you talk about that shark commercial that he did. Lane Shark! Booyah! Remember that one? I do. I do. I, I, yes, we all remember. Okay. <laughs> so, now what are you doing? Well, now I'm looking up Wrath. Oh, right. Ra- Imagine Darren Brazil. Mm. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is Tom Hiddleston or whatever his name is. Oh, Loki. Yeah, yeah. Loki. Cool. Yeah, that or Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> I'm putting that out there. Ooh, Jake Gyllenhaal. I like Nightcrawler so much. I, I mean, honestly, you don't want to give away. Ah, that role actually could be a big role. Jake Gyllenhaal is a really it, good pick. You give it to, uh, uh, who's the pretty boy? Wow. Uh, Gosling. Gosling uh, could do that. Here we go. Now see, but now, now, we're, now I, I we're getting into my Justin Timberlake. Now, now it's going to be picks. Justin Timberlake. He'll do the theme song. I want him to do the theme song. It'll be a top forty hit. Is we're not going to bring guy? it until the second movie, though. Yeah, Rafe's the bad, bad guy. guy. Yeah, he's not going to be the bad guy. We'll, we'll offer no, to Justin him. would do. JT would do it. Yeah, but he's not like that bad of a guy. I mean, it's kind of he's he's fine. Okay, okay. So J- JT is our first for Rafe. Jake Gyllenhaal for second. Okay. Tom Hiddles. I don't even know how to spell Tom Hiddles. You don't even need him. Because like, trust me, when Justin Timberlake turns this down, Jake Gyllenhaal comedy is going to deliver. You got to have your list because later when the like our notes get released, people will think it's cool. They'll be like, oh, they were going to approach Bruce Willis for the Russian guy. Lazarevich, what a yeah. disaster that would have been. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now going back, we still need a, a good one for Chloe. I thought we'd like Mila. Mila's, no? All right. 
I, I'm just putting it Am I wrong? An unknown, like the like I, my my. She looks exactly like the actress who was uh, Electra from Daredevil season two. Never got there. Didn't like her. Okay. No, I never got to it. I watched one episode. I was like, oh, it's more Daredevil, and walked away. It's just I've been busy. I mean, Mila, uh, um, uh, Chloe is very is a very sex appeal driven character. Yeah, sure. So, this so is, this is I want to shout out to Emily Ratajaja. Oh, that does. Yeah, look a lot I, like I her can too. get into that. Yeah. Okay, but she's like you know she's in that weird spot right now. We that sounded wrong. That's not what I meant. <laughs> you I want can, Emily Ratajkowski? I can be into that. Yes, I can. I'm into that. Yeah, I don't know, man. She might. Be I too like white. that choice. You think so? I don't think so. Emily Ratajkowski? Yeah. Again, we knew I mean, whatever again, we want. Hey, I'm into it. Okay. All right. I'll put her down on the list. Nick's still trying to figure out this Daredevil actress. Yeah, I don't know what her name is. Uh, what the fuck? No. It's also just fun to watch Nick try to use a computer. <laughs> it's like watching Kevin try to do anything. It's the same way we all are, I feel like. Whenever somebody's watching over your shoulder and you have to do something no, on a computer. I'm it. quite efficient on Google. Yeah. Quite so efficient. Who is this? Quite efficient. I don't like it. There she is right there. Uh, Elodie you. Young. Elodie Young. Man. And Emily Radarowski all fighting for this one role. She well, looks right a lot like Chloe. I'm yeah, not, I mean, I'm that's getting kind of on the nose. All like right, that. fine. Do it. Sorry, Emily. Back of the line. Maybe you can gender bend big cutter. <laughs> I was putting her out there. Oh, that's really big. All right. All right. Now, we got Sam. Yeah. We got young Drake. <laughs> I feel like now maybe... Uh... You said young Drake. We need young Drake. Would it be too on this if we actually cast Drake as Drake? I, I mean, I'm into it. Young okay. Drake. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need one, yeah, okay. We need one more backup. Well, I guess that works. Uh, who's Sam? His, it's Drake's brother. Oh, so we're bringing him in. Yeah. yeah he's a big part of the I feel form. like we got to figure out who Drake is before we figure out the chemistry between us. I brother. agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with so that. I'm going to throw out my main, the person I always throw on this. Oh, God. Ryan Gosling. He's the star of our Metal Gear movie. People are going to think he's just coming off hot off the fucking success that was Metal Gear. <laughs> Come on, bro. Let's get him in another one. He could be the guy that brings back all that, that revitalizes the video game movie industry. He could be that guy. And by revitalizes, I mean actually creates that industry because we haven't had that yet. Okay. And you're I'm saying this, got, this we, has to be a huge book. movie star you're saying, This has right? to be the biggest star of the thing. I mean, okay. this needs to be a, a Chris Pratt, a Ryan Gosling. Pratt, man. I think he no, has the uh, action element Pratt's down. In too much he well. is. He is in a lot. I, lo I love but, Chris Pratt. I'm sorry if you're I watching think, Chris. I think he'd be good. He has the the. He, he has, has the, the chops. Yes. He has the action and the comedy combined. But is he rugged enough? I think he can be. Mm -hmm. You know, this guy. He could be, be the rugged. man that we deserve. He could be the Drake that we need. You know, just imagine him with a scarf on. Oh, I am, and it's good. He could do it. Oh, here's he what I'll float. It. Just floating it. Oscar Isaac. Yeah. Poe Dameron. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ex Machina. It's good. He's got the humor down. It's I, like good. I feel like we could get him on one of the Marvel diets. Not to get buff, you know, oh, buff. He's, he can get jacked. I guess he's already, he already, it's Poe Dameron. He's pretty good. I mean, he's got to be every he's man half apocalypse. Yeah, no, I like this. But he's, he is in a lot of stuff. Yeah, but he's good. I, that's he's a really solid good. call. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm here for you. So you guys are vetoing Ryan Gosling is what I'm hearing. Yeah, right? no Ryan yeah, Gosling. No. We've had enough of the Goss. All Goss right, so. is in our other major motion picture. All right. All right, fine. I mean, I have a good personal. I have an actual special relationship with Ryan Gosling. But I'll explain to him that you guys don't want. Do we want to consider Bradley Cooper? Too old. I think he's a bit too old. Too old. Okay, but we need a Sam. Ooh, and I think Bradley Cooper is the good guy Ooh, for Sam. Ooh, that got good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I like that. I like that. Sorry, I like that. Bradley Cooper is Chris Pratt's older brother. I'm Why are you saying, trying to get the I'm Pratt in this saying. so much? <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, that is a good one. That was a good that play. A good that yeah. was a really good play. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. Shit, we got a fucking hit movie on our hands. <laughs> we do. We got to get in the horn to make this thing happen. Oh, man. Well, I'm liking this. All right, go back to the cast. All right, it's the cast. We still need, we need our definitive Drake. I like Chris Pratt, but the problem with Chris oh. Pratt is he's gonna, he's gonna say no. He's not gonna want to do it because he's gonna, he already has Guardians and he's already got Jurassic World, which I'm sure he'll do another one of those. Jurassic, he, Jurassic Universe, Jurassic Galaxy. 
<laughs> Dinosaurs on Mars? That's crazy. You can't do that. Yes, we can. We gene spliced them. <laughs> now they eat rocks for air. <laughs> but no one can visit them. Um, um, all right. Okay. Well, give me one more. We need one more person for Drake. Oh, Jesus. Top 100 male actors in no particular order. Thanks, IMDb. That'll help me. What do we got here? All right, hold on. It's loading. Oh. We're not putting Leo in it. Don't think about oh, it. Leo. I know you think about it. I want to put the dad right. from Modern Family. Which one? He's cool. He's too Phil. old, but uh, he would also. Ty be- Burrell. <laughs> Ty Burrell could also be another. Steve old- Buscemi is the name that pops out to me. <laughs> 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 I'm Sandler. I keep looking at the random ass oh, people. In you it. know, I just saw that I love. He's in uh, Frankie and Grace, and he could make a really good Sully too. Frankie Muniz. No, no, no. Frank, yeah, I know Grace you're talking and about Frankie. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah the is, Netflix show. Yeah, not Ethan is, Embry. No, um, Will and Grace. I'm sorry, I'm going back to Sully right now. Is uh, the fourth Ghost Martin Sheen? No. Oh, Ernie Hudson. Ernie Hudson. I love Ernie Hudson. Ernie Hudson's great. Yeah. He, I'm just talking Steve about Harvey is a way better comedically he? timed he, Sully. He'll say no, something funny. Right. He'll have a cool plane. I like again. I Ernie's Hudson. getting too intimidating. <laughs> Ernie is getting too intimidating. <laughs> Sully's a man. Young. Hold on. Young actors. <laughs> what? <laughs> Listle. Here we go. Do you like the second season of what, yeah, Grank, really, yeah, Granky and Frank? <laughs> For young Drake, how do we feel about the kid that played <laughs> Spider Man? Tom Hiddleston? No. Um, the new Spider Man kid. Again, he's being how young, how young is young? I mean, that, it's young Drake is young. I mean, I Six guess there's multiple. Old, 12 years old. No, he's like probably like 14 or so. So we cast like an 18 year old or an 19 year old as a 14 year old. We cast the 34 year old as a 12 year old <laughs> Hollywood. Yeah. Hold on. I got it's it. Fun. I have the perfect one. Let me get a name for you, though. All right. Jesus, Craig. Yell at me. Ooh, I'm so mad. It's, it might skew a bit too young, but keep in mind, move, time has passed since then. Jacob Tremblay from Room. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like that perfect. kid. Because if we just play it a little bit, that he is, you know, we're, I mean, it's all up to us. We're using the Uncharted 2 Young Drake or Uncharted 3 Young Drake moment. So we have it out there. He's just a little bit younger. He know? also showed some acrobatics in Room. Mm. So we know he's got it in there. Can we get the kid awesome. from The Sixth Sense? Haley, Haley, no, he's Haley, not a kid no. <laughs> but he, I mean, He's a 34-year-old man. <laughs> I, want, uh, I want him. I feel like it'd be great. <laughs> he's, he's too busy starring in everything Kevin Smith does Look him now. up now. I've seen him. He's in the Entourage he movie. He's Drake. awesome. Nope. He could not. No, no that's he can't not. Do it. He could not happen. That way. Right. What is, else do we he need? Has stubble. Uh, <laughs> Jacob Tremblay, I think, is fantastic. I think we're good. So I would like to see one more person... On our list to go through for Drake and then one more person for Chloe. But everyone else, I think we've got pretty much knocked in. We we just have to figure out, is this an origin story? How does this work? Are we doing the trilogy of the games? Well, like we said, we're doing... I don't think we want to be presumptuous. Oh, we, I mean, that's Hollywood. We're greenlighting no, the trilogy be, until we have to be. cancel it. We're committing this all the way until we have to completely back out and cancel it. It's Hollywood. <laughs> Sorry, it's we're going to commit I'm used to it. $900 million or we'll give you $100 million if it tanks. And then... We won't do the second and third one, Hollywood. Okay, we'll film them all at the same time. Yeah, but you, you you're set on this that Drake, that Drake has to be a movie star, correct? He can't be an unknown for that role. He could be an unknown because we unknown. always talk about it. The guy in Until Dawn, who played the boyfriend, who you know his whole thing where he was running, he was doing a, a Uncharted uh, uh, audition. We always joked around about, mm-hmm. right? Anybody remember his name? No, you can find him. Until sure. Dawn, Until Dawn, IMDb. Yeah, oh, I know who you're talking about. He looks exactly like the character, but I don't think he's got the star power to do it. Well, that's what I just, that's literally how be, I walked be, into this he conversation. Might too, he might be too young, too. <laughs> just don't think he has a star power. <laughs> I'm sorry, Greg. Oh. Brett Dalton. Brett Dalton. Never heard of him. Yeah. You. <laughs> you and then P- Peter, Peter Stormare. Peter Stormare was the Russian guy we all, we all know. Oh, that guy's perfect. Look, shave his head. He's in. For what, Lazarvich? Do you see where he's our We got to bulk him up then. I was all I'm saying about yeah, it. Lazarvich is jacked, man. He's like 6'6". Six, six. Right. Really, that's what he looks like. Body armor, shotgun, then it's big arms, dark. big dick. Yep. Huge, big, big dick. dick. Robbing cock. Jesus. You know what I mean, Colin? I know exactly what you Why mean. Why not, Kevin? It's a great word. People all right, let's, let's wrap it up. Let's get all some right, people in here. Up, wrapping this up, so going down the line. Yeah. I'm going to go lowest to highest. Okay. For Rafe. Yeah. Justin Timberlake. JT. Number one choice. Second choice, Jake Gyllenhaal. For Lazarovich, The Rock. Number one choice. Second choice, Vin Diesel. Third choice, if we can get him, Bruce Willis. I don't. Mark. He's going to be cancer on the set. He's right, toxic. I don't want him. Just The Rock and Vinny D. It's fine. Now, can we put Mark Wahlberg in anywhere? 
because I just like Mark Wahlberg. Wasn't he attached to Wait, the yeah, intro? He was supposed, supposed to be Drake. Drake. He, was he was supposed, supposed to be Drake. Drake at one point. That was when David O. Russell, I think, was was going to direct it, and I think he backed out. I don't think he's doing it Did anymore. the Assassin's Creed trailer drop today? It was this week. Oh, this week. Okay. For Marlo, we have Selma Hayek, Hel- Helen Miram, or Holly Hunter. Gotcha. All very strong choices. For young Drake... Jacob Tremblay. Uh, uh. <laughs> this young Drake is my favorite thing. I could just all I can do is hear him saying that in the in the Bun B, uh intro on the uh Trillo G album from 2010 it. when they introduce him for the first time. That's all he says on the Aubrey album. Drake Graham, man. Get him in. For Sam, we have Bradley Cooper. Done. For Cutter, we have Jason Statham. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Okay. For Chloe, we have Mila Kunis or e- Elodie Young. I like S- Mila, but I'll take your word if you want to put Elodie in there. She's got the look. She's Depending on how big the character is, we'll see. But I do like Mila. Okay. For Sully, Steve Harvey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we nailed it on that. I mean, knocked gonna, it, it out of the fucking park. Not even going to. I'm not even, even going to lie about that. that. If I'm lying, I'm dying. That's a fucking good. That's <laughs> a good we have a long <laughs> list of women to go to for Elena. Top of the list, Scar Joe. That is my that's top of your list. Top of my list. Top of Tim's list is Kristen Bell. I think we can all agree Olivia Wilde would be amazing for it. I put Elizabeth Olsen on there because she's doing great work. And I put and we both we all put Mary Elizabeth Winstead on there because she's also doing great work. True. All of them True. will make very strong characters. For Drake, we have Chris Pratt, who I feel like we just pick as the main actor for the lead for every every time we do this. Oscar Isaac, and I'm putting Ryan I like Go- Oscar I'm putting Isaac. Ryan Gosling back on the goddamn list. You guys can't stop me. It's my computer. Oh man. Gosling. This is one day when this movie gets made, they're gonna leak this and be like, what were they thinking? No, that, dude, this would be an awesome cast. Be, this would be a great movie. If any combination of these actors uh, we're in this film with the right director and the right financing. This would be and the right script and the right production crew and the right locations. This would be just the and the right costumer and the right soundtrack. It'd be fucking amazing. Just a film. few people. Just a key a few key roles we yeah. just need to get down. You know? Yeah. Good couple good get one or two or three or four script right rewrites, a couple couple more writers on it, it'd be great. Maybe bring back Amy Henning. Locked in production hell forever and let's ever bring and ever. we'll bring Amy in yep. and then we'll Bring like eight other writers in. Oh, sure. It'll be great. Okay, yeah. Um, Just that sounds like Hollywood's great. A lot of of fun movies are made there. We'll get Lawrence Kasdan to rewrite everything and then we'll rewrite him. It'll be good. That topic was brought to you by Gamefly. Are you ready to save money and play more games? And let me introduce you to our sponsor, Gamefly. Gamefly is the best way to buy and rent all your favorite games. Just go to Gamefly.com, pick your favorite games from its library of 9,000, and have them mailed to you directly to your door. Try your favorite games and movies before you buy them. Keep the games as long as you want and cancel any time. Go to Gamefly.com slash kindoffunny and start your free premium 30-day trial today. The premium trial allows you to check out two games and or movies at a time. You can only get this offer by visiting... Gamefly.com slash kind of funny. My topic. I'm going to throw Zoe Saldana on the list for Elena as well, just in case. Reach out Let me know when I can trans- I special, transition out of this I have a special topic. relationship with her. Which one is Zoe? She's from Star Trek. She plays Uhura. She's oh, from she's from great. Avatar. No, she's, she's, awesome. be, she's great. She's great. she's great. And she's going to be in Avatar 2, I think. Maybe not. She's not blonde enough. You fucks. It doesn't have to be just blonde. It does. That's no, all no, that matters. What do you get him to eat? Just part of his shoe? No, nah, it's booger. His eye booger. I want him to eat his eye boogers. He's some eye boogers. What's the problem? Oh, what do you do with your eye boogers? I, I don't have eye boogers. I'm bullshit. Perfect. Oh, bullshit. You, I, don't you don't I don't have I don't have ass burgers. <laughs> Not the same. Not, Not the same. Eye boogers and ass boogers. <laughs> Never heard of either of them. Similar as far as I understand. <laughs>